morning campers. So I spent last night here at Boots Off Hostel. Um, and uh, yesterday was a really rough day. Um, a lot of rain. And as I was going up and over Pond Mountain, there was um, a lot of thunder. <laughs> A lot of thunder. I didn't see any lightning, but you know, you know, when you hear thunder, there's lightning. So um, it was probably my scariest day on the trail so far. So anyway, I got in here probably around 12:30 yesterday, and so that was like a 16, 16 mile day, 15, 16 mile day yesterday. Um, got in pretty early, so I was able to rest up. But I've got some blisters. Well, I've got blister. I think just one on my right foot. Um, and I realized it's kind of like, you know, starting from scratch again, starting from that very first day on the few days on the trail or doing an 18 mile day and then doing a 16 mile day back to back and the 16 mile day in the pouring rain where your feet are just sliding all over the place. Not great. So anyway, um, I am doing a, just a five mile hike today, taking it easy, getting some forward progress and, um, doing it without a pack. So, um, there's a hostel five miles up that is gonna, they took my pack for me, and so I'm just gonna walk the five. If I get up to like, just what, on top of the dam, Watuga Dam, uh, they'll pick me up there. So, easy day, it's raining again today, and it's colder out today. And then I realized that I hadn't pulled my gloves out of my pack before they took it. So, and it, like I said, it's colder today. It's probably low 40s right now. Um, so I went to the hiker box and found found these. So they'll work better than none. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I uh, don't know how much filming I'll do, but I'm sure I'll pull out the phone every once in a while. So chat later. Bye. Blue water, I guess. Yeah, you want to bring a filter, water filter. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Don't worry, I won't like get any of you guys in here. I'll be in your video. Little cubbies. My little cubbies. Hey. <laughs> Which way? Got honey bun back there. Got pretzel wow. hanging out in purple. <laughs> oh, cute little bunk house. Emphasis on little. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey bun shaking his honey bun. Shaking <laughs> my money maker. Oh. Yeah. Outhouse. Freezing after when I got here, so it's perfect. So here's the office for Boots Off, and then this is the like, hangout room. It's for breakfast to serve in the morning. The only negative thing about Boots Off is that you have to go uphill to get up there, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, so when I said we had a lot of rain yesterday, <laughs> we've definitely had a lot of rain. I mean, it came down and came down solid yesterday, and it was raining last night too. I have a feeling my feet might get wet on this one. I don't know how saggy it's gonna be here in the middle. Just enough. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A lot of rain.
Okay. Nope. And nope. <laughs> I think there's an alternate route. <laughs> I see it dumping out there. So, going around. Uh, oh well, there was no workaround for that one. So, we have. Yeah, you can't tell, but. We have really wet feet now. <laughs> All right, so good morning guys. Blister on the right foot, still giving me some trouble and it's in an awkward spot for taping. And yesterday, like the first half mile in, it was only five miles, which was great. Um, first half mile in going around Lake Watauga. I mispronounced it yesterday. Um, massive standing water because of all the rain and uh, shoes were, shoes, socks, feet drenched with, you know, no, no drying out throughout the day. So, because it ended up raining. Um, so wet feet that didn't help the blister situation and the taping I had done. And so anyway, I'm doing, decided to do another, another slack pack day. More mileage though. Um, but then tomorrow I'll have my pack back and I'll head toward Damascus. Um, I may talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Ciao. If I had been going northbound, I would not have seen this. Because this is what you see as you're walking southbound. I mean, perhaps I would have turned around and noticed it. But odds are I wouldn't have. Odds are I would have done this. Just cruise along, following the trail. Do, 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 do. Heading north. I would have missed that. That's kind of a good one. That's the biggest tree that I've seen where they've notched in an AT. Staff, born December 26, 1851, died July 22, 1923. Lived alone, suffered alone, and died alone. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. Wow.